Have you ever picked out an outfit that in theory should work, the colors match, everything fits you individually, but then when you put it on, something is not quite right and you can't put your finger on what it is? Well, my guess is that the proportions of the outfit are off. And you've heard me say this a million times, I'm balancing out the proportions of the outfit. But it occurred to me that I've never actually explained to you what that means. In visual arts, in film, photography, and art, there is a concept called the rule of thirds, and it's basically a guideline for how to create more dynamic and compelling visuals. A good example of that is the image that you're seeing right now. If you were to divide my screen in thirds, both vertically and horizontally, you would notice that I'm not sitting in the center of the screen. Instead, I am sitting off along those guidelines in the thirds, with the points of interest, where I want you to look at, meaning my eyes, where those lines intersect. We do this because not creating a perfectly symmetrical image creates a little bit of visual tension, which essentially just means that it makes the image more interesting and compelling to look at. Fashion is also a visual medium, though I would argue that it's much more sensory than that, but it depends on whether you're the viewer or the wearer. But I digress. <laughs> So in this video, I am going to show you how to make your outfits more flattering instantly in seconds by using the guideline of the rule of thirds. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Fernanda and I make videos to help you build a wardrobe that you love. And I also show you how to make the most of it. If you're into that, you can join us by hitting that subscribe button. I'm here every single week. Before we get into it, I do want to clarify that the rule of thirds is basically just a guideline. I myself don't believe in strict fashion rules per se, but I do think it's helpful to understand the very, very basics of style because to use the thinking outside of the box metaphor, when you learn to work inside the box and you learn the limitations of your box and learn to play with those very, very well, then stepping outside of that box becomes a deliberate choice within your personal style. So I'm essentially just showing you the very basics so that you can choose to use this as you wish, or if you so wish to do so, you can step outside of it and throw it completely out the window. When I say that I'm balancing the proportions of an outfit, the irony is that I'm actually doing the exact opposite. I'm unbalancing the outfit. I don't know if you're familiar with the golden ratio, but it is a concept that is very prevalent in design and in architecture. And the rule of thirds is basically just an oversimplification of that. But what I'm looking for when I'm creating an outfit is basically a ratio, a ratio of two to one. This is a super simple concept. It essentially consists on avoiding putting the visual break of your outfit smack in the middle, because this divides your body into two equal parts, a ratio of one to one, and it can make you look frumpy. Instead, what you wanna do is divide either your body or your outfit into thirds and put the visual break where those lines hit. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you plenty of examples in a minute. Now, a visual break of an outfit can come in many forms. It can be where your top and your bottom meet, it can be where your belt hits, it can be where a layer hits you, it can be where your sleeves are at if you were to roll them up to a point that is flattering to you, or it can even be the break between your garment and your skin if you're wearing like a skirt, for example. So let me show you some examples. If you've been with me for a while, you might remember I did this at the beginning of my outfits combinations video, the very first one I ever posted. I walked into frame wearing a tunic sweater and a pair of dark black jeans. And the first thing I did was French tuck the sweater. And by doing this, I was really changing the ratio of the outfit from one to one to two to one, two parts leg to one part sweater. And it made the whole outfit so much more flattering. And here is another example with a skirt and a simple top. Now, because the skirt doesn't go all the way to the floor the way the pants did, the visual break is not gonna hit at the exact same point, but the concept is the same. Two parts skirt to one part top. This is really the brilliance of the French tuck if you think about it, and it works very well for two reasons. First, you are instantly changing the proportions of your outfit, which makes it already more flattering. But second, a lot of us are very vulnerable, specifically with the stomach area, myself included. After I eat, I get really bad bloating. And by having excess fabric around that area, it actually makes the area look bigger. And not only that, a lot of shirts hit right at that point. So it makes the visual break right in the middle where I don't want you to look at. 
By French tucking my shirt just in the front, it makes the visual line of the outfit move a little bit higher and it eliminates the visual break when you're looking down at an outfit and it makes you not stop looking right at my stomach. This is why this works. Now, if you're wearing either a shirt that you don't wanna tuck or a dress, the way to add a visual break to that outfit could be with a belt. But that belt really wants to hit at your waist and not at your hip. And I would be very careful doing this with a shirt over leggings or something like that because adding a belt over the shirt can look a little bit dated, like a little bit early 2010s. Depending on how old you are, you might know exactly what I'm talking about because I certainly used to, to do this. So leave me a comment below if you get my drift. Another thing that you can do if you have a top that you don't want to tuck is to basically extend the line of your outfit and the line of your legs as much as you can. And you do this by basically having no additional visual break from where that top hits all the way to where your outfit ends. So if you're wearing a skirt, you want the skirt tights and shoes in the exact same color all the way to where your outfit ends. And if you're wearing pants, look for a pair of shoes that is the exact color of the pants or very close to it so that there's no visual break between the pants and your shoes. Bonus points if they're pointy toe because that will make the line of your outfit continue to go. Now, chances are that you're not going to be able to get it to hit at the exact point of thirds depending on how tall you are but you can change it so that it moves a little bit closer to where those lines should hit and it'll be way more flattering than if you cut yourself smack in the middle. Now, alternatively, you can add a layer and that layer can hit you either at the point of the first third or the second third. And this can be anything, a cardigan, a jacket, a vest, a kimono, whatever it is that you have that is a layer over it, as long as it hits in those two points. Chances are that you do have a couple of layers floating around that don't hit at those exact points. If this is the case, then whatever it is that you're wearing underneath, you wanna make sure to add the visual break at the points of the rule of thirds, because this will make your outfit overall a lot more flattering and it will avoid you looking frumpy. And by the way, this works really well as well if you're wearing a dress that you need to combine with a shorter layer that doesn't hit you at those exact points. In that case, you wanna add a visual break to the dress itself with a belt at the point of thirds of the dress. Now, I do wanna clarify something which can be a little bit confusing, but please be patient with yourself. So essentially, your outfit is going to end at different points. If you're showing leg, your outfit is gonna end where your skirt ends and your skin begins. But if you're not showing leg and there is a seamless line between the color of your skirt and your tights or the color of your shorts and your tights, then that there's no visual break and it basically continues. So wherever something changes, the color changes or your outfit ends or something like that, that's the end point of your outfit. And basically you want to divide your entire outfit in thirds. Where that line is going to hit is going to change depending on what you're wearing. I promise you this gets easier the more you try it, but just give it a shot. Now, this is super important to pay attention to, particularly when you're shopping and where it hits on your body, because the exact same garment is not going to hit you in the exact same place that it's gonna hit a taller person. So when you're shopping, pay attention to where those things end and where they hit your body. And I do wanna remind you that if you're 5'4 and under, which is basically just the average height of a person in the States, then you always have the petite section and you have a much better chance of close fitting you right off the rack. And if you're 5'8 and above, then you always have the tall section. So keep that in mind. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're looking for more quick wardrobe fixes, check out this video next. The easiest wardrobe fix to make you look a thousand times better in your clothes. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern.